All right, can you uh, scroll back to the top of it again? I know what I'm gonna say, I got this. Take one mark. Hey all you Firebase developers, welcome to another episode of Ask Firebase. And I am here with Hiranya, and uh, we're gonna be answering your burning Firebase questions. I'm so excited that you're on the show today because you work with one of my favorite products around here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here? Yeah, I'm in charge of Firebase Admin SDK offerings. That, uh, that's our SDKs for the server-side environments. And we have four uh, different flavors of it, uh, starting from the Node.js Admin SDK, which is our most widely used and probably the most mature and most, uh, most feature-rich mm -hmm. SD Admin SDK offering. And we also have Java, Python, and since recently, Go Admin yeah. SDKs. That's right, we just added Go as well. Really excited about that. And uh, people might know the admin SDK if they use Cloud Functions for Firebase. Yeah, uh, in fact, the Functions SDK uh, is probably one reason why Node Admin SDK is so popular because it, it's based off of Node Admin SDK. So whenever you are doing a database call or a, a user management operation in, in a function, you're actually using the Node.js Admin SDK. Oh the more you know. Actually, why I wanted you to come on is because whenever I have questions about the admin SDK, I ping you and I know you have a lot on your plate, but you always get back to me right away with an answer. And I figured why not share that knowledge with the rest of the Firebase community. So Oops. glad to have you come out and share your knowledge with the Certainly. larger group. So. Let's get into some questions about the admin SDK. First question comes to us from Stack Overflow. I am creating a simple web portal using Firebase Cloud Authentication. One user is an admin who will create other normal users and hand over the credentials to the normal user. So they're using um, the admin SDK for that. Now I want that admin to have the option to reset the password for a normal user. How can they achieve this? If you look into the auth and user management APIs that are currently available in the admin SDKs, one, one feature that we support out of the box is just this, just resetting the password of an existing user. This comes up very often in, in server-side use cases. There's an admin and a non-admin users, and the admin needs to provision user accounts as well as do certain updates and mutations on the user data, like resetting user's password is one of the most common scenarios in that respect. And what you would do is, if you're programming in, let's say, Node.js, you would call admin.auth.updateUser and pass, just pass the new password in, and that gets propagated to all the backend systems in Firebase End. Sweet. I will also link us to the documentation, so if they want to find out more, you can check out all the different options you have with auth for the admin SDK. All right, what else we got? Okay, ooh, this one. So I really like this question. This is one I specifically asked you about because there was an update to the Java admin SDK. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a user on Stack Overflow that noticed that they weren't getting calls to the real-time database when they were trying to read it. It appeared that everything else was happening, but those calls weren't being made. But when you think about it a little deeper, there was something else going on. So what is it about how the Java admin SDK works that might impact um, what that experience is like if users are testing things. Right, this is actually one of the kind of the fundamental differences in the way the Android, how an Android app would work and how a regular app, regular Java application would run in the JVM. So JVM, it comes up and then your application, it starts the application's main thread and it does some operations and when, when the main thread exits, the whole application, the whole JVM exits, mm -hmm. provided it hasn't spawned any other threads. So if you, let's say you start your application and you do Firebase dot, uh, you call initialize app and then you start a database connection and then you start a listener. You think you are waiting for the events to fire, but what's happening actually is the main thread exits and it takes the whole JVM down. So before any events could fire, any real time events are actually delivered from Firebase backend to, the, to your application, your whole program exits. So what you have to do is actually tell your application to, hey, register this event listener and wait for things to happen. And there are different ways to do it. Do this, the simplest way is to just tell your thread, tell the main thread to just go to sleep, just wait. Or you can use more advanced concurrent programming struct constructs like semaphores and wait notify constructs. And uh, there are all sorts of cool fun things you can do in Java and threads and to just do, to implement this bit of uh, synchronization. 
Right. And I would say that this is certainly uh, a feature and not a bug because it wouldn't be a good idea to block the main thread for something like this. Yeah. So you can actually argue for, for I, I've seen arguments for, for both sides of the story. Some, uh, some users certainly prefer if the SDK can just wait for wait on behalf of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the philosophy that we've, we've sort of followed is if the admin SDK starts a thread, it will also takes care of uh, cleaning up that thread. And any thread that the SDK starts will be actually started as what's called a daemon. Uh, and daemons will not prevent the JVM from exiting early. And that's actually this is actually important if you're if you're running your application in environments like App Engine, which is uh, thread constrained, which, are, which has other constraints on threads. You absolutely do not want threads just hanging out. You want the whole thing to exit as soon as possible. So that's why the admin SDK is designed that way. Uh, unfortunately, it has this other ramification. Like if you're running this on your own server, if you're quickly trying to you know try something out, it it, it has this weird behavior like. It, it seems, to the naked eye, it seems like the application just stopped before anything happened. Right. I feel very lucky that I get to be surrounded by so many people that I can just turn and, and ask when these things come up. But I think that is really uh, great information about how the admin SDK works with Java and uh, super helpful. So thank you. Of course. Well, thanks so much for coming on and answering some Firebase questions. And as I start to collect some more, hint, hint, um, when you have some questions about the admin SDK, make sure you put them on social media and tag them with Ask Firebase so I can have Hiranya back on the show. Any of your other questions that come along, make sure you uh, send them our way. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for having me.